examining how elastic rebound works and how it produces an earthquake. So in this first picture you can see a fault dividing two masses of rock and of course this fence going across it just to kind of give us a linear object uh, as a reference. Along the fault the rocks on both sides are always moving but occasionally they can get stuck. If they were to get stuck the pressure would continue to build and the rock masses on either side of the fault would stretch. So in this illustration you can see the curvature of the land from that stretching and again notice that that fence is uh, warping as well. Eventually that stress will build so much that it will release and it will produce an earthquake. So just an earthquake is simply that release of energy from those moving plates. What's interesting, as you can see in this final picture, is that the plates have now snapped back into their original shape. Not necessarily their original position, but original shape. And with this fence, you can see that it has broken as a result. So hopefully you understand elastic rebound.